Good afternoon, Mr. Tan. Thank you so much for joining us here on the 3R News Show. So you mentioned that our 63% of Indonesians agreed to get COVID-19 uh, uh, booster shots. Who are uh, these respondents? Are they taken from the whole areas in Indonesia? Do they cover Indonesia as a whole? Okay, yeah. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, good to be here, and thank you for inviting me to in this program. Okay, um, um, let me um, uh, uh, explain first. Uh, actually, this survey um, is the Southeast Asia Ahead, we call it. It's uh, actually a series of uh, surveys um, that initiated by Ipsos uh, us to understand um, the evolving um, um, uh, people uh, or consumer behaviors mm. uh, and opinions uh, certainly during the pandemic in the last two years. And this is actually Ipsos led study um, that was conducted in November uh, last year and involving 3,000 uh, participants um, uh, across Southeast Asia uh, markets. Uh, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Thailand, Philippines, and uh, Vietnam. Uh, each country has um, uh, 500 respondents. Yeah. How did you uh, select the, the samples? Is this a sample from, from the major cities or is this uh, across Indonesia, including the, the tier two and three uh, cities of Indonesia? So this is actually, um, of course, the, for the Indonesia, predominantly it will be um, um, uh, samples from Java Island because that's the biggest population in Indonesia. Um, um, across that, we have some part, um, I think about 10, 10 15 percent um, uh, coming from Sumatra and uh, another 10, 15 percent coming from uh, Kalimantan and, and uh, Sulawesi. Yeah, so this is actually representing our populations uh, between 18 to 54 uh, years old uh, in Indonesia and across uh, other countries as well. Mm. So from the survey, can you actually see what drives the trend to change? Because we uh, also saw earlier that the majority of Indonesian people used to refuse vaccinations. Yeah, I mean, this is a very interesting because uh, earlier this year when we took the study, um, the outcome was, uh, you know, many people are hesitant about taking, um, um, you know, these vaccinations uh, earlier, right? Uh, but I think, you know, I think we all know, right, we've been hearing, um, um, I think Mills has been hearing uh, from various media, um, many countries has been experiencing of uh, the, the, the third wave of COVID as we speak now, right, like, um, you know, countries like UK, US, Malaysia, Singapore, and, and of course, you know, driving this, this, this third uh, wave is actually predominantly uh, because of this new variant of Omicron. And certainly many Indonesians upon witnessing this, you know, and you know, on what happened in other countries, right? Um, logically, this driving most Indonesian, I mean, they want, they wish to get a booster um, for their own safety and of course for their own, for to protect their family. Uh, moreover, if, if we look at it now, um, you know, by, by looking at our low number of our daily cases in the last three, four months, right? And um, it, it begins to create a belief uh, among Indonesians, uh, at least, um, that the effectiveness of a dose one, the first dose and the second dose, you know, um, of the early vaccines they got, which can avoid them from, uh, you know, having a bad symptom if they get COVID-19. And certainly this is actually, you know, again, become a um, 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 sort of a booster for, for people to believe, you know, okay, now I think this booster vaccine is very important for them to take it at the current um, situations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the survey also described Indonesia as highly conscious country uh, compared to the neighboring Asian, Southeast Asian countries. Um, how has it affected the uh, the vaccine enthusiasm uh, toward uh, you know, toward the vaccination, especially that the booster is, is starting uh, since a couple of days ago? Yeah, I mean, this is certainly this is a, a very positive uh, and very encouraging situations for for all of us, definitely. And, you know, I have to give uh, credit uh, to government institutions like, uh, you know, this uh, KPC pen and also a lot of media uh, here today, um, you know, um, which constantly giving the right message about, uh, you know, the COVID-19 situations and how people need to be, you know, careful dealing with it. Um, and, you know, um, and uh, it is important as well um, how actually they constantly counter the misinformation or hoax about the COVID-19 and the vaccination itself at the uh, early stage, right? 
Um, and this is um, actually is is become um, you know is our key advantage compared to you know uh, if if you recall that you know other countries uh, actually even till now in US they're still struggling. Uh, and they're still going to convince uh, half of their populations to, you know, uh, get the vaccines um, um, uh, immediately um, when the vaccine is ready. But you know, I think unfortunate for Indonesia, these, 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 uh, all the countermeasurements um, about the wrong information, the hoax, at the early stage, definitely it helped drive consciousness level of the majority people in Indonesia. And uh, not to mention about you know these campaigns done by governments. Uh, through the social media, uh, public influencers, or to boost the awareness of the public um, and the right information regarding uh, COVID-19 and vaccinations. I think this is the key elements for uh, why Indonesia having such a high uh, consistency level um, uh, in this case. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good they can actually filter information as well. So from the survey, yeah. uh, anyway, Mr. Tan, 79% Indonesians are optimistic toward the economic recovery until at least within the next six months. So what are your thoughts about this, um, if you can relate it to the increased vaccine enthusiasm among the public here? I think from uh, from uh, our, uh, uh, this uh, Southeast Asia had uh, study uh, through our tracking um, um, uh, uh, of these studies, uh, it is so very obvious and it is a very directed. Yeah, when you know when people get vaccinated, you know, uh, the first thing that actually changes is their confidence. It boosts their confidence, you know, uh, to do their routine, to do their routines or activities like usual, you know, uh, pre-pandemic situations, right? And if you know people um, do their uh, routine or activities, uh, pre-pandemic situation happening again now, right? This will be definitely benefited, you know, to overall business uh, situations. People are start spending again. People are start going out again, you know, and definitely because of that, this will be positive on the national economy recovery, right? Um, and you know, again, I mean, many governments. I think uh, central bank also predict that you know um, the economic recovery is pretty much on track this year, and is going to be much higher than last year. You know, if the situations remains, yeah, I think that's a really, really direct between the vaccinations, uh, the confidence, and the economic recovery. All right, Mr. Suprapto Tan from Ipsos Indonesia, Managing Director. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts here in the 3 Hour News Show. Hopefully we hear from you again in the future soon. Thank you.